Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and we're going to make a word card today. And for all of you that are regular followers, I'm sure that you already have on your gypsy a uh, little thing that says A2, which will have an A2 size rectangle on there, which is four and a quarter wide by five and a half. And then you'll have a second box on it, which is four inches by five and a quarter. And if you don't, then please make one and save it as A2 so that you can always refer back to it. And it'll make your life a lot simpler uh, because you don't have to make boxes all the time and, and start a base of your card. You'll have it there to use as a template. Now what I want to do is, first off, I want to take this top box and hit my plus bar and I want to put it... Uh, go to the advanced, hit copy, and just have one on this screen so that I have it ready. Go back to layer one, and I am going to use Gypsy Wanderings because I know that you all have Gypsy Wanderings. And the word smile right here is 1022 down. Okay, so I've got the word smile, and I'm going to enlarge that so that it is a width of 4.25 so that and I'm tapping so that I have the exact width I'm going to set it right there go to layer 2 and hit the advanced key and copy I'm then going to line it up with the other box what I'm using for a template so that it's right on there And there we've got it. Then the box that I brought over already, we're going to bring that up here and line that up also. And I need to move it over a little. Okay. Now go to back to the basic key and I want you to just touch the height button because all we're going to adjust on this is the height. And then we're going to decrease the height as we want it to fit. And let's, whoops, the wrong way. We want it to fit in here but so that you see the tops of the letter. And I think we've got it. Okay, let's take a look. That looks fine. See how we've got? And let me see if I can't do a close-up. Oops, wrong way. See how um, it's going in the middle of the letters? And it'll be strong that way because it's brought up and we've only got a little bit above there, but it'll look nice and we'll still have enough room to have copy on the inside of the card where we can write a sentiment to someone. Now what you've got the, the box highlighted, and I want to zoom out a little bit so you can see the keys as I touch them. There we go. You've got the box highlighted, and what I want you to do is go back to Advanced, copy that box, and then let's get it lined up. And I'm panning so I can get it lined up. And move it over a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to be exact. So my Y key is 776. My Y key is, now that's not right. I must not have had the right one. The Y key is 623. Y key is 620. There we go. So, oops, we want the Y key to go to 623. One, two, three. So that the bottoms are matched up perfect. Now, we just need to slide it over. 
so that the edges just go over a little bit and you can see that. Now I want you to highlight, highlight, whoops, highlight, hit your highlight button, your group button in there, group it. They're grouped together now. I want you to go to the advanced key, hit, whoops, hit weld, and then, and look at, we've got a, the box is right. Now the only problem with this as you're looking at this is the smile is on the wrong side. It needs to be on the inside. I'm actually putting the words on the inside this time. So uh, take your preview button off and let's hide that layer one so we don't see it through there. And then tap on smile and just move it over to the right. We don't move it up and down, we just move it to the right because we know we have the right size and we've got it right to the edge and it's highlighted. Go back to basic, hit highlight, highlight, go to advanced and weld it and there we go. We've got it. Isn't that perfect? Now this side here is going to fold over on top so this will fold over. Okay. So now we need a piece of artwork to go on the fold apart. So let's go to smiley cards. We all have that one too. Oh, I've, I'm on preview. There we go. And okay, smiley cards. And there's a cupcake on there. I'm going to grab that cupcake right on the top. First one. And before I grab it, I want to make sure that my basic, see my real size is off. And I want the cupcake. I want the bottom of the cu cupcake, so I hit the shift key. I want layer one, the top of the cu cupcake, shift key, the sprinkles, Take off shift, go to layer two, and there is no layer two. So we're good. Okay, we've got all the layers. And all I'm going to do is set the cupcake on here and go large enough. Move it over. Move it over. think about that size is just right, don't you? Now, I'm going to show you another card in just a minute, but on this particular card it's pretty generic, so you don't have to flip it. But if you had a card, and the other card I'm going to show you uh, is a 4th of July card, and it has words in it, then you would have to flip it so that it would fit. So now what I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to go to another layer and I am going to copy it. Just put it on there for a minute so that it's on there because I'm not going to change the size of that cupcake now. I just have all the pieces. So I'm going to go back to layer two. I'm going to try to go back to layer two and I'm going to hide that. Um, all I need at this point is the cupcake itself. Oops, go back. Did you see how I did that? If you accidentally delete something off, use that arrow and that's your go back. Now all I have is the cupcake and the cupcake is going to sit on the front of the card right about there. I want it over to there, just a little bit there. So, now notice, it's over the top, therefore I have to weld it and make it a part of this card. So what I'm going to do is once again hit the highlight button, grab the cupcake, grab the card, and weld it together, preview. See how it's going to cut now? We've got our layer 3. And 
layer one, I mean layer two, is the card. And then I've got the word smile on this first page. And I cut the word smile out. Okay? Now all we have to do is hit Save As, A2. Um, I'm going to put Smile. And I'm going to put Smile 1 on here. The reason being is I just did a smile card just like this and I did it two up and I'll show it to you in just a second here. Okay, we've got it saved. Now I want to go to open and just show you this very quickly. A2, 4th of July, where did we go? 4th of July. This is the one that I wanted to show you. Now, I better hide my layer two there. Notice the 4th of July on this. The 4th is flipped. See that? See how I had to flip it? Because remember, this side is going to fold on top of this side. So 4th of July is folded over. Now, looks funny, doesn't it? As soon as I do the preview, see how the USA is on the top, the 4th of July right there? And then my layer 2, I've got all my pieces. USA, 4th of July. And what I did with this one is I actually, I'm going to um, do one of the USA's is the right size and one of the USA's I tap down two because there is no uh, shadow in this so I'm going to layer it over the side a little bit and when I put this card together I'll show you but I use the same way of designing it on that as I am on this one on the first smile card that we just did I just wanted to show you that if you do that you're using letters or using something that has direction you must flip using this key right here and flip the direction of it otherwise when that part of the card folds over on top of the USA in this instance it's going to be backwards see how my card is right now another thing remember how I just love doing cards as um, double up. Well, I want to show you my A2. A2, as soon as I find the silly thing. I have such a hard time finding it because these things move so fast. A2 smile, there we go. See how I've got two smiles on that page? Layer two, two smiles, layer three. And what I forgot to show you was I used that, that bottom um, on layer one. Remember how layer one had this bottom one? Well, I took the height button, I just tapped it, did the height button over on the basic, and adjusted the height down so that it fit on the bottom of the smile portion right here. Okay? And this, uh, since my pieces were so large, I couldn't fit side by side, so I'll just have to cut this page twice. So that's it for today. Now, wasn't that simple? Back to the coffee, and we'll start cutting these cards, and I'll put them together for you. Bye now.